Good morning, you guys. I am vlogging today, which hello, I have not vlogged in so long. It's also really bright right here because I'm like right in front of the window. But, um, oh my laundry back there. We're just gonna move that frame. Um, so today is Thursday and I thought I'd vlog a little bit today. We'll see what happens, see what, if I actually do. But um, it should be an interesting day potentially today because the power might be going out for a couple days. We don't know for sure. I don't know like for our area as well. If you're in California, you probably heard of this. It's called the public safety power shutoff. And because of all the recent fires that have been due to like power lines breaking from these high winds that we get this time of year now and um, yeah, they created a lot of fires. And so um, during high wind event predictions, they're going to be, the electricity company is going to be shutting off power <laughs> for large areas in some entire cities and multiple cities or counties and things like that until the wind event is over. So for us in Southern California, we have Santa Ana winds, which I, it's so funny to me that like they don't have those everywhere because I was telling Austin, he's from Northern California. And I was like, oh, it's the Santa Anas. And he was like, the what? And I was like, you guys don't have those? <laughs> I guess it's just us down here in Southern California. But basically they're these, um, like I guess Eastern winds, Southeastern maybe, they come from the desert and they blow over super, super windy, like 60, 70 plus mile an hour gusts. And just like sometimes very constant sustain, like just really strong wind, but they're very hot, super dry and super hot. So it'll make it like in the nineties here. Um, sometimes even hotter in some places, but we're by the coast. So it's not as bad for us. Um, really hot, really, really dry, like 6% humidity and just really strong wind. So when you think about it, that's a pretty bad combo for fires. It gets really dry, really hot and really high winds that spread fires quickly. And that's what started the Thomas fire for us. Um, I think it's like a couple years ago now which was absolutely devastating. It was the largest wildfire, wildfire in California history um, until the campfire, which I think was last year, which I don't know if that was due to um, winds. I, I can't remember how that one started, but I know the Thomas Park for us started that, so we're in a high risk area deemed. Um, so what we've been deemed as. So I, I don't know <laughs> what's gonna happen. We may have our power shut off and they said if it does, um, it'll be through Thursday. I know areas in like Sonoma area up in the northern North Bay area. Um, I think their power's already out. And I think Austin's family who lives in the Bay Area, their power might be out and be out for a few days or they're projecting that. So um, I know for my dad's company and where Austin works, they're supposed to have no power, I think, today and tomorrow. I think that they're saying that they're in a high risk shut off area. Potentially, I guess they don't really know until the weather starts coming like up once it hits their like criteria their thresholds They will shut it off, but I think where we are we're okay. Um last night. We got a bunch of ice We got a bunch of water Um like canned food. We have a gas stove. So like we're okay with that if we have to we also have like a camp grill that we can use out on our patio We also have a barbecue so it's fine, but um, it's crazy thinking if the power shut off for your whole like city What do you do because <laughs> like we also have cash out because like credit card things don't work like that's what happened during the thomas fire and we lost power for a while and like there, there's nothing you can do like businesses shut down stores will be open but usually they won't let you get into the perishables because obviously because the power is out so you can't get anything frozen or refrigerated and you have to get like canned food cash only like it's it's a thing <laughs> and then you think about like all like you can't go pick up fast food when you can't make dinner. Like nothing's open, nothing's open. A lot of stores, like all the stores closed, I think before. I can't remember, I don't think I even went shop. No, I don't think they closed because I think people need supplies. Um, schools closed, like I think the schools are closed out where Austin and my dad are. Gonna be our work, where they work. Um, I think they're gonna be closed today. So I think here we're fine, but I charged up everything last night and I'm hoping for the best. I'm gonna get into the office and try to like make as many orders as I can because you know, once the power goes out, what am I supposed to do either? I don't have internet. I won't be able to use my machines to cut anything and make anything. I can't print anything. Like it's, it puts me at a standstill as well, which is really frustrating. If some of these wind events last over a week, like what do you do for a week? I, you can't just like not work. Like what do you do? How do you make money? You know what I mean? Um, like I, bills are still due. You still have to pay everything. So. 
yeah um i can't imagine what it must be like for people that are gonna have their power off for a while like they are up in like the bay area i believe they're being shut off for like a, quite a while from what i've heard i haven't heard much about elsewhere but that is the one i've heard because we have like family up there and friends and stuff like that so yeah hopefully it doesn't get shut off today <laughs> fingers crossed but we will see i'll keep you guys in the loop um i think the wind events will start today it's not really there's not really any wind out right now um it, it's supposed to be really hot today though in comparison to the last few days i think it's supposed to be like 90 no maybe less than that maybe like 85 um but yes so we'll see how it goes <laughs> i'm gonna hop to the office i've got my outfit on today which i kind of like i got some like black ripped jeans this white white top from making no sleeves because it's gonna get hot and then like this new coat i got from abercrombie and fitch which i've been loving their stuff lately like i have been shopping there a lot <laughs> online only because they have like good deals sometimes like i will i signed up for their like reward program and it's actually really good i got this jacket for 40 percent off it was like 40 percent off one item and i was like because their stuff is pretty expensive so i buy when i have a lot of coupons and i really like it. it's really nice quality it fits super super well and I'm just like a big fan. So anyways, I'm going to go to the office and start getting stuff done before hopefully the power doesn't go out. <laughs> hey guys, so I totally forgot to vlog, but we just went to Target really quickly, my mom and I. And I got this new hat because we're going on a cruise for my birthday next week. I thought this was so cute. We're just going to Mexico for like, it's like three days um, because I didn't want to take off too much time from work. But yeah, so I got that. And I also got a new eyebrow pencil. This I haven't tried. This is the new Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I like their other ones, the Maybelline ones, so I'm hoping I like that. And then I got the new Mystery Oreos flavor to try, which maybe I'll try later on camera because I've not tried them before. And then I got a decaf pumpkin spice latte with soy milk, so I'm ready to go. But I think we're going to be going and actually getting new phones. Um, we're going to go to the Apple store now, and my mom is doing a big upgrade because she her phone is, I think, the 8. Mom, is your phone the 8? 7? a seven so she's doing a big upgrade so um yeah so i think we're gonna go do that and i might update you guys later from there i don't know i don't want to vlog like in the apple store i feel like that's weird <laughs> i don't know um but yes so i will see you guys later you guys it is so sandy actually i think you can even see it on the horizon it looks like dust or like fog but it's just sand like dirt and sand because the winds have hit the santa anna's we also stopped and got some donuts, we got some Krispy Kremes. They're delicious. And then my mom got a new phone. I did not get a new phone because it ended up, I miscalculated the price. It was gonna be extra like $350 or something if I were to get the phone. And I had just got my phone, so I'm not doing that. So we got her new phone and she likes it a lot. She's shaking her head yes, that so she loves it. And now we're back on our way to the office and it's about time for lunch, so I'm very excited for that. It's kind of taken like a twist this morning. Like I definitely didn't plan on doing any of this <laughs> this morning at all, <laughs> but that's okay. And yeah, so the sand is crazy though. Let me see if they can see it in the hills. It's just, maybe not, but it, it it is wild. It's crazy. Hey guys, I am back home now. Um, I realized it's quite a bit later, but literally all I did the rest of the day was just cut um, the rest of the sheets from last weekend's orders. Um, I printed all those, I did all the foil for those orders, and then I cut all of the stock and inventory for it. So um, that was all done, and so I said to come home a little bit early. It is so dry out today. The Santa Anas are really kicking in full force. It is pretty windy outside. Um, it was definitely windy on the way home and to the um, Apple store to look at the phones. And yeah, it was so windy. It looked like we were in the middle of a dust bowl like storm. Like it was crazy. It looked like thick fog, but it was just all sand and dirt. Not very fun. Um, I mean, we were in the car, so it's much better than being outside. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some um, essential oils in my diffuser and just get that going in here to help with the um, humidity to like make it a little bit more humid because it is really dry. It like my lips feel dry, my eyes are dry, and like my throat hurts. So it's like I need to drink more water probably too. Um, but this will definitely help as well, especially because it's also hot. So I think it's right now it's 82, which isn't that bad, but it is warm so like that coupled with air conditioning as well it makes it so dry <laughs> so um but i did want to tell you guys what some of my like favorite combinations are for my diffuser so my favorite combo that's really smells so good and it has 
um, sage and palo santo in it, which um, are great for like clearing energies and things like that if you subscribe to that type of thing. Um, so I'm gonna put in some sage. I just have like little ones I got. I can't remember where I bought these. I think I got them from Sprouts. Um, they have essential oils section and it's kind of expensive, but there are like other health food places usually have them. I don't know if this is focusing or not, but um, so I do a little bit of sage, a little bit of Palo Santo, probably like three drops of each. And then a little less Palo Santo, maybe two drops or because it's pretty strong. Um, then I do peppermint oil and lavender oil and it smells so good. It smells so good. It's so calming and soothing and it just like feels like good clearing smell. So I'm going to get that going. This little diffuser I just got off Amazon. It's pretty small, um, but it works well. I like it. And I'm going to keep designing because I have some more stuff to design. Um, and yeah, I think that might be it. I'm going to be designing the rest of the night. And I don't think I'm going to work out today. I'm not really feeling it, so I might not. Um, I'm just really tired, so I think I might take like a shower and wash my face in some comfy clothes, pretend like it's cold outside when it's not, get my diffuser going, maybe some candles, just for fun, um, and watch some kind of like Halloween movie. I think that'd be really nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get the diffuser going, but I also wanted to try some of these mystery Oreos to like see if we can figure out the flavor. So let me grab those. My camera got full of memory, but I just opened these and they smell like birthday cake, so they, they kind of smell like frosting. So, I think it's birthday cake flavor. It's almost like a little bit of cinnamon in it. But I think it's actually vanilla. Oh, I just started smelling my diffuser. <laughs> so now I'm like, lavender? <laughs> I think it's birthday cake. I'm pretty sure. I think it's birthday cake flavor. That was my guess, so. I hope I'm right, maybe I'll enter too. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I really like the Oreo Thins a lot. I think those are my favorite, so. It's all right. But it's just like a lot of cookie. <laughs> um, but I love the Oreo Thins, so. My hair is whack today, it's just crazy because the low humidity is like really like fluffs it out a lot for me. But anyway, so that was today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope this was kind of maybe interesting. I forgot to like film when we were places. So kind of like lame on that part because we did quite a few things today. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm also thinking about getting a Kindle. So I don't know, let me know down below if you have one and what your thoughts are. I hope I guess it before I actually decide if I'm gonna get one or not. Like I was saying before, we're going on a cruise um, next week and I know it's really short, but um, I've been thinking about like having like an e-reader to read my books on because I've been buying hardcover books or paperback books, just like physical books for a little while. And I loved having books on my iPad, but my iPad's pretty heavy and it's an iPad Pro because I got it for work. So I don't really want to be reading on it a lot. Um, and it's just like, I, I'm not going to travel with it because it's too big, it's too heavy, and it's also like very expensive. And that just makes me really nervous. So um, it doesn't, oh my gosh, Austin's board fell over and it's poured out on the balcony um, because of the wind. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Probably should bring it in. No, that's probably fine. But yeah, so let me know what you guys, I was thinking about getting like the basic one um, just because it's less expensive. Maybe the next one up. I think there was like the basic one, which was like 89, and then there was like the paper bright one for like 130, which is kind of a lot, but I don't know. I'm thinking about getting one just to read books on um, while we're traveling because we do have quite a bit of traveling coming up and we've been traveling a lot and I really like to read books, but it, the books, like books themselves, I feel like I go through so fast that like I don't want to have to bring like a couple of them. Um, Probably from the Santa Anna's. I think it's our neighbors next door. They have little kids. They're so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about getting one. I don't know. From what I've heard, a lot of people that have them are kind of like, 
mm, I don't really use it much. Like I got it, thought it'd be great, didn't really ever use it. So I'm hoping that wouldn't be the case. But uh, yeah, so I'm thinking of getting one of those. I just think it'd be really nice to have something that's really portable, that's really light, that's not super expensive, that I don't have to like really worry about um, to read on. So I could just toss my bag, it's lightweight, it's small, it's like compact, um, that could just like easily fit. Because I feel like a lot of the books I have are big books. And I feel like for some reason, a lot of books now, I'm, I feel like they're not offered in like paperback. I don't know where they went. I used to keep some down here that I was like working on. I feel like a lot of books aren't offered in paperback anymore. I feel like they're mostly hardcover and like those are so heavy. Like I love them and it's fine for reading around the house and stuff like that, but it's just a lot to travel with or throw in like your beach bag or something. So uh, yeah, something about doing that. And oh, really quick though, I wanna show you guys some of the new releases coming on Saturday. So I have them in my planner. Where did I put them? <laughs> I put them, bup, 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 bup. They're coming Saturday for our Winter Wonderland weekend, which will be really fun. I'm gonna have a sale and we're gonna have some new kits. But the one that I have printed out so far is the Soft and Cozy. This one has the foil overlays on them. As you can see the foil here, foil box. This one has foil on it. And then I believe this one does, yeah. And this one has foil as well. Um, but that's with the foil overlay sheet. And then these are the bottom washi. Can you see it? There, there it is. And this is the bottom washi itself. So I think that this would be so cute over it. I strategically placed it. I designed these by putting like the, the black, I, I designed it over this washi first and then I take that and put it onto the foil overlay document. So that way I know it like looks good when it lines up. We also have a couple other new kits. Well, honestly, if I can get them all done, we'll have four new kits, which is a lot. <laughs> I'm working on the third one right now. Um, wait, these aren't the new ones. I brought some home. Maybe they're still in my bag. They're new foil icons that are also coming out Saturday. Hold on. <laughs> also, 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 if you're looking for a new holiday kit, this is up in the shop right now. Merry and bright. So fun. So bright. And also these little guys that are so pretty. These little full box foil overlays. We have one for Christmas and one for Thanksgiving. And they're transparent, so they fit over our full boxes. So cute. They're just little quotes. So I thought that was super fun. And then this Saturday, we have some of these, which are so stunning. They're Christmas icons. These ones are Christmas ones. How cute. There's a little like mittens, Christmas tree, fireplace with stockings, a little house in a snow globe with snow falling and um, a snowflake. So let's see if it'll focus. My nails are so bad, sorry about that but so cute. So I'll have this available in a lot of different foil colors. That was in the light gold. This is the hollow, which, you know, rainbow heaven. And then also we have this new green, which I'm calling holly green, which I thought would be kind of fun. And then we will also have a fall Thanksgiving icon set, which is kind of like Thanksgiving-y with a turkey and a football and a little pot. And like a, that's a little play setting with like um, silverware, napkin, and a plate oh you can see there and then a little cornucopia so cute and these ones have some patterns on them so i thought that'd be kind of fun to try out so there's that and then we will also have these ice winter icons that are just like icy colored so pretty i love these they're just so fun so this is in the silver obviously so it's like a little like cold temperature a little snowflake some earmuffs another pair of gloves and some like kind of ski ski stuff, cross country ski stuff, ski stuff. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not much of a snow person because we don't get snow here in Southern California. <laughs> so at least not where we live. Um, so yeah, so those will all be available on Saturday. Super, super fun. We're gonna have a sale and we're gonna have, I think 20% off. And I'm gonna have, I think maybe a free hobo kit if you like reach a certain order minimum and also some freebies. And like I said, a lot of new kits. So it should be pretty fun. And I'm looking forward to it. So it starts Saturday, 90 Pacific Standard Time on my website usually um if you don't see things on etsy they're on my website um so i have more stuff on there like all the foils only on our website not on etsy uh just because etsy is kind of being a pain <laughs> so i like to do it through my own website if i can and the prices are cheaper because my shopify does not charge me nearly what etsy charges me to sell items etsy charges a lot for me so um they're cheaper on our website as well so that's even more fun 
So yes, um, that is it, I think, for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I'm hoping I get this up in time. So far, we still have power. That's what good. I probably charge my phone just in case, just keep it charged. Um, and keep my computer plugged in too, probably, while I'm working on designing. Because that's like, I don't, I'll be fine without electricity for like internet, but I just, if my computer dies, there's nothing else I can do. So yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.